Tina. I'm Ross. And today we have an unboxing for you. This was sent to us by our kind viewer, Neil M. So thank you so much, Neil, for letting us know this was coming our way. He had it shipped directly from a company called the East India Company and mentioned, oh, look them up. There's a lot of history with it. So we did a little looking up, a little Googling on East India Company because we had heard of it. We don't know a lot of the history of it. And it did get established in 1600. So it's been around a very, very long time back when Queen Elizabeth I was reigning. So definitely was involved in the trade of tea, spices, textiles, especially with um, India and the East. They were trading with China and Japan. So it was really extensive. So they have quite the past with India, um, not always in the most positive light, that's for sure. As far as colonizing and controlling India and other parts of the Southeast. So um, one thing, one connection to the United States or actually pre-United States that I saw in there is um, Boston Tea Party. So apparently that was a ship loaded with tea from the East India Company that made its way into Boston Harbor and of course that was one that got dumped into the harbor. Um, some of the people I think led by, was it Samuel Adams? I think was one of them. And they dumped, in today's money, it would have been over one and a half million dollars worth of tea. <laughs> so that was a lot of tea that they dumped into the harbor. Yeah. Sure. And apparently it was dissolved around 18, in the 1870s, the, the company was dissolved. And so it was pretty much inactive for quite a few years. And then in the 2000s, actually an Indian businessman, he um, was born in India and, and is now um, in England. He now runs the company and sort of brought it back and is has turned it into, is not trade anymore, but um, they sell uh, nice goods. Yes. Biscuits and tea and things like that. So. Um, interesting turn of events that um, considering the East India Company's history in India and now we have someone of Indian descent that is running the company. I think you also mentioned they um, sell minted coins. Yeah, I think I saw some minted coins on the site as well. Yeah, interesting. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what Neil has selected for us. Neil, thank you very much. I know that we had kind of a um, Situation with the uh, delivery service, <laughs> but it got resolved. Got a little tricky, but yeah, yeah. we got it here. Yeah. So, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Oh. And, uh, Ooh, we've got so a fine tea selection. Beautiful packaging there. Yes. And I believe this is their call it a seal or logo that they've had for the East India Company. So it's got Royal Breakfast and other teas. Ooh, Bombay Chai. Yeah, so it has an assortment. How fun. Royal Grey. Darjeeling. Yeah. Oh, nice. Thank you. Looks very nice. All right. Uh, let's see. Okay, I have in my hand here East India Company Sweet Biscuits Seville Orange Marmalade. Ooh. We have not had these before. No, that sounds interesting. Again, beautiful packaging. Yes. Can we try? Yeah. And what do we have here? Ooh, candied orange peels enrobed in chocolate. Oh. That one. That sounds really good. Yeah. Real orange peels crystallized and enrobed in dark chocolate. That yeah. sounds really good. That does. Although we are a little worried. We'll see how this survived. Survive because I mean, fortunately, this week has not been as hot as last week. But who knows where the box of it has been, especially since it got delayed with the shipping, maybe sitting in a hot delivery truck. So fingers crossed. We're gonna hope for the best, and I'm sure it will still taste good. There is one remaining item here. Okay. Would you like to do the others? Let's see, I might need scissors. Okay. Very well protected with the bubble wrap. Ooh, rhubarb and ginger extra. It's a jam. 
Ginger adds zest to elevate the classic British rhubarb. Nice. Yeah. Love ginger. Yeah. Yeah, that combination sounds so good too. Yeah, that'll be interesting. So rhubarb is something we don't get a whole lot here, so that will be fun. Yes, thank you. Sounds really good. Your eyeballing is because this gets in anymore. I don't know. I was kind of eyeballing the <laughs> <laughs> candied orange peels. We think so. We open these up and see what they look like. Yes, please. If I can. You want to do that for? Oh, I got it. The moment of truth. <laughs> yeah, this is just a brand we simply don't see here. I don't think I've ever had anything from the East India Company, have you? No, uh-uh. I think, I don't know hmm. if, I think they might have some physical stores, at, at least in London, but maybe there are other places too. I'm not sure. Yeah, they did. It looks like they did get a little bit melted together. <laughs> Thank you. Careful. Chocolate shrapnel. I mean. <laughs> Oops. Well, we're going to try our best here. And maybe after this we'll put it in the fridge and yeah. see if that will help anything. I'm not sure. Once they've got melted together like this, it, it just may have some coming off like we experienced. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. Let's put a little bit in my mouth. Mm. Nice chocolate. Mmm. Yeah, that orange. Mm-hmm. Let's have a lot of the orange look. It's based on the chocolate. Mmm, <laughs> that is really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sweet. That yeah. orange peel. Candied orange peel. Yeah. I feel like we've had that maybe in, say, a fruit cake. A lot of times we'll have like candied orange peel. I've never had it quite like this where it's chocolate covered, so that was nice. Okay. Got to wash our hands there. Uh, but you're right. I, I think the closest thing we had uh, to this was maybe just in a fruit cake around the holidays, usually in, in smaller pieces. And this is so nice to have in nice larger pieces. And that, that tartness of the, of the orange peel. Yeah. I like that. But not too tart because you got this candied and a little sweetness too. So it says on the back, in the 17th century, the East India Company's ships returned with the finest coffee, spices, exotic fruits, and chocolate. Rediscover chocolate's earliest hold on our senses with enchanting and Moorish enrobed chocolates. Very good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Neil. Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and put this in the refrigerator and see if that helps at all. That, that's a little tough once it gets melted together. And so, yeah, we have to be just maybe take it out and take a knife to it. We'll figure out a way. It still tastes delicious. <laughs> it is. It's also just a, a nice variety of chocolate. And I probably sound like a broken record when we're doing a lot of reviews of uh, Brit food, UK food that we try. So, oh yeah, I keep saying over and over. <laughs> yeah, we just don't. No, it's true. I. When was the last time you saw something like this, where a candied fruit that is covered in chocolate? When was the last time you saw that here at any market that we usually go to? I haven't uh, noticed. I mean, it might be out there, but I I can't recall it being widely available. Okay. Yeah. So maybe in another video we'll have to come back and try these biscuits with some tea. That sounds very good. I'm assuming you want to we'll have it with one of those two. Mm -hmm. And this rhubarb and ginger extra jam. Uh, yeah, what do people like to serve that on? Just as uh, on a regular piece of toast or do you have another idea for it? Would that go well with cheese? Maybe. Does, what does it say on there? Out of my glasses says ginger adds a zest to elevate the classic British rhubarb. We've had chutneys with cheese before. Maybe that would be... 
Yeah. In fact, we just tried one recently that had rhubarb in it. So. Yes. Yeah, so we'll have to do another video um, trying this with the biscuits and the tea. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to it. Again, Neil, thank you very much. And just a little blurb here on the back. It says the East India Company pioneered the trade of exotic fruits and spices jam or jam, G-I-A-M, as described by Hannah Glass in 1747, was made by boiling fruits in sugar, preserving the fruit. It was then sealed in pottery or glass for the long voyages undertaken by the East India Company. Jam was expensive and reserved for the captain and officers enjoyed only during special occasions. Well, glad it's more readily available and affordable now. Yes. And so we are going to have a tasting of items that Neil M. sent us, as well as a couple of items from Richard. So thank you both, Neil and Richard. Yes, thank you. So we are going to try some of these products from the East India Company. We have some tea and biscuits. And Richard sent us some really delicious looking biscuits a while ago too, and we want to get into those. And so we'll be sampling several biscuits. And these are Bothams of Whitby. We have coconut and stem ginger. That'll probably be a favorite of yours. Yes, it will. We have tea biscuits. Tea biscuits, also from Bothams of Whitby. So we have this nice assortment of teas that Neil sent us, which is really fun to try these different teas. And we're trying two different ones. You have the Bombay Chai, and I have the East India House Director's Blend. And the Director's Blend says it's a balanced blend of the finest dark teas from India, Sri Lanka, and Kenya. And yours is a robust blend of black teas from India with warming spices of cardamom, cinnamon, ginger, black pepper, and clove. And it's right in front of me right now, and it just has it this wonderful good. scent. good. Yeah. Fantastic scent. Mm -hmm. Shall we give them a try? Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Very good flavor. Not too strong. I think we yeah. steep them about five minutes. Yes. Added Excellent. a little sugar and milk. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Mm-hmm. You know you want to try it. You want to try mine? Now yes. my little dainty teacup? Yes, I do. <laughs> I'm going to stick my pinky out and everything. There you go. Hot. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, it's nice spices in that. Chives are so good. That was just a nice... Yeah. Nice tea with that blend. That's on guard with your, mm -hmm. your teacup. I think you got that from your grandmother and I just... Yeah, this is actually my mom got this for my grandmother when from her trip to England. Yes. Yeah, so this was purchased in England and since my Nana liked tea, it seemed like a perfect souvenir for her. As opposed to my Boba Fett mug made in China. Yeah, this one's from Royal Albert, Bone China, England it says. Yeah, so I'm not a big tea connoisseur, but I think that's a nice tea. It's yeah. lovely. I really enjoy this. Yeah, yeah. They're very good. These yeah. all sound really interesting. So, you know, I got the, we like Earl Grey. I do like Darjeeling as well. So, yeah. Looking forward to trying all the other ones. Yes, thank you very much. Yes, thank you, Neil. So, let's go ahead and start with, I'm going to start with the one I know I probably like the least first the Coconut and Stem Ginger by both of them. I know you're going to love this one. Yes, I am. Oh my gosh. Way? How about you get the next one? Sure. Mm. Ladies first. We gotta, maybe I should take the broken one. No, I'll, I'll take the... Yeah, you don't listen to me. I was going to take the broken one. We can take the other half of the broken one. Okay. There we go. Oh, you got... Here. I'll, I'll take the little piece. <laughs> Why does it look like a jerk? <laughs> Not at all. You know how I am with, with coconut. Yeah, you're very unfair with coconut. <laughs> okay. All so right. 
here we go. Coconut and stem ginger. Mmm. I like the taste of the ginger. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. Little coconut pieces. <laughs> Not so much. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, the ginger, a little bit, a little chewy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like those little chewy bits. Those are, yeah, the ginger. Um, Actually, I thought it was the coconut with the chewy bits. Really? That was <laughs> the ginger bits. I don't know. Taste the ginger is good. Yeah, so mm. much for the coconut. <laughs> They're okay. <laughs> you can have the rest. <laughs> I know what you mean because dried coconut can have like a chewy texture, but also we've, we've had ginger mm -hmm. candies that are chewy. That's true. Yeah. But yeah, I, these things I say when we try products from the UK. Oh, we just don't have this. No, I can't think of any biscuits, cookies that we've had. Combination of ginger and coconut. Yeah, I really like these. I got a nice with the tea also. You know what else it has in it, which I don't know that I detect. It says biscuits with the exotic ingredients of coconut, stem, ginger, and lime. Really? No, I don't think I noticed the lime. Definitely got the ginger coming through. Well, that's went over me. I I wasn't picking up on the lime. <laughs> but no, I, th I think the, the coconut and the ginger go very nicely together. Mm -hmm. Can't say we've ever had a biscuit cookie like that. Yeah. But I, I know how you feel about coconut, but maybe... Tea biscuits. Tea biscuits. They have a description on there what you can expect. Uh, rich Richard. and golden biscuits. Tea caramel. Perfect little cup of tea. We're ready for that. Yes. <laughs> we are prepared. Okay. okay, madam. These are all intact. So. I think I'll, I can handle a whole one of this. You can handle a whole one? Yeah. Yeah, so it these are nice size. Yeah, they are. I can live with that. Mm. Oh, mm. I smell that. Yeah. There we go. Except actually it's, it's too big for me to get in my little cup. <laughs> there we go. I don't have to break mine down. Mmm. Yeah, I like this. This would be my preference. Mmm. Oh. Yeah, I really like that. I said caramel. Is there cinnamon in it too? That's uh, funny. I was just thinking about it. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of uh, the Lotus Biscoff. I, <laughs> I, I'm telling you once before. Please get out of my head. <laughs> yeah, that's what it reminds me of too, which yeah. I, I really love. Mm-hmm. Caramel. Cinnamon. I'm actually not seeing cinnamon. Could I could have sworn. I was tasting cinnamon. It has molasses though, which I also love. Yeah. No, I I can taste molasses. Yeah. Yeah, those are good. I really like those. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, these are very enjoyable. Mm-hmm. They go perfectly with tea. Yeah, they are very nice dipped in the tea. Mm -hmm. mm. We've received rum butter. I could see putting a little dab of rum butter or brandy <laughs> butter on top. Is that too much? Yeah, you're really getting crazy. <laughs> you know you want to try it. Yeah, both of these are very, very good. Mm. I know how you feel about coconut. These are wonderful, though. Yeah. Especially for tea. No, they are tea biscuits, so. Yeah. Enjoy both. Makes sense, yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for our last biscuit? Nice taste. These are from the East India Company, Seville Orange Marmalade. 
traditionally baked biscuits. These are from mm -hmm. Neil, as he sent us a, a whole package from the East India Company. Yes, thank you, Neil. This is a butter biscuit made with our traditional, the East India Company marmalade. Sounds interesting. We do like butter biscuits, so. Paired with the tea that we're drinking now mm -hmm. from East India Company. So, there we go. Again, thank you, Neil. Okay. So. These here. You ready? I'm ready. Mmm. Oh, wow. You getting the scent? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get the orange scent. That's nice. <laughs> mm. Slightly chewy. Yeah, these are a bit more, the other ones are a bit more crumbly. These have a bit more chewiness to them. Mm -hmm. Have that, of course, orange flavor in them. Little bits of orange peel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Top notch. These are all top notch. But I really like that um, little bits of orange peel in this. Yeah, you hit the little chewy bits. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, these are very nice. The flavor pairs nicely with the teas as well. At least with mine, I'm, I'm assuming yours too. With the, it's like those spices in the chai would go well with the orange. They do. Mm -hmm. They pair very nicely. Mmm. That's funny because with the first two biscuits we tried, texture wise, oh, I think. There's a store bought with a very good quality store bought. Mm -hmm. With these, it was a blind taste test. I wonder if these were homemade. Mm. Maybe because of the chewiness. Could be. But these are all very good. Especially with the tea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do we have to pick favorites now? Well, that's our usual routine. Yeah, it's tough for me because I mean, obviously, the coconut is not going to be in the running for me. Just because of my preference for not coconut. <laughs> this is a toss up though, because, oh, I, I love the chewiness of the orange marmalade and that orange flavor is very good, but I'm such a fan of the flavor of these tea biscuits too. That makes it really tough. Yeah. Yeah. I could see that being a struggle. It is a struggle. I don't know. No pressure. <laughs> I'm not really bad about trying to come up with favorites anymore. Oh, they're all so good. Yeah. Like these two teas. I I normally gravitate towards the chai tea. Mm-hmm. And just trying the one that you have right now. So, oh, this is this is kind of a tough call if I had to pick between two. Mm -hmm. They're both so good. Yeah. Both have a nice flavor. They do. I almost feel like I taste a little bit of a citrus flavor in this one, but I don't see anything in there that mentions a citrus flavor. I don't know where I'm getting that from, but yeah. Or maybe some of the biscuits are just... You're getting some... Biscuit flavor in there. There you go. <laughs> anyway, it tastes good. It does. So yeah, I'm, I'm really torn. It's almost like a tie between these two because it's one of those depends on my mood. <laughs> I think the tea biscuits are really great for dunking too because once you get them dunked, they're just that perfect consistency. They're not too hard and crumbly. Yeah. These almost seem like you could get away without dunking them and they'd still be good. Agreed. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for If I have to choose a favorite, I think it'd be a dead tie between the coconut stem ginger and these orange marmalade. But still really enjoy these. These tea biscuits, as you said, fantastic for dunking. 
Love that flavor. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I remember the Biscoff. What was the Biscoff? Yeah, the Lotus Biscoff. I think that's the thing. I'm really getting to be a fan of those flavors. I think that's why that one is appealing to me so much. Yeah. yeah enjoy them all, but dead time for coconut stem ginger and these marmalade. And the tea's excellent. Yeah. Look forward to trying some of the other tea flavors. Yes. All right. So thank you so much, both Neil and Richard, for sending us these. Uh, biscuits plus the tea. Yes, thank you very much. So let us know in the comments if you've tried any of these or if you have a particular blend of tea that's your favorite. Let us know that too. So if you like food reactions and food tastings, be sure to give our video a thumbs up. Also subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell so you know we publish a new video. And until next time, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.